Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang basic concept ng matrices. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Kapag sinabi natin matrix, ito yung mga rectangular array of numbers na may iba't ibang rows at iba't ibang column. Katulad ng ipapakita ko nito, ito ay isang matrix A na merong M rows at N columns. Kung mapapansin natin dito, sa bawat isang element, mayroong dalawang subscript. Yung unang subscript, ito yung nagsasabi ng kung nasa ang row sila. Or in other words, this first subscript is the row of that element. Tapos itong second subscript, ito naman yung column. Dito sa A na to, sa matrix A, merong 1, 2, and so on and so forth hanggang sa pang M na rows. Kaya ito ay M rows. Tapos yung columns niya hanggang N. Dahil magsisimula sa first column, second column, and so on and so forth hanggang makarating sa nth column. The element A sub IJ appears on the row I and column J. Yung I at J, yun yung nagbibigay ng specific location ng isang element. Such that if I is 1 and J is 1, then A sub 1, 1 ay ito. Ito naman yung A sub 1, 2. Ito yung A sub 1, N, and so on and so forth hanggang makarating dito sa dulo. Yung M at N, yun yung nagde-denote ng total number of M rows and N Columns. Yung number din ng rows at column yung magdedetermine ng size ng matrix. Kung meron tayong isang matrix A tulad nito na may M rows at N columns, then its size is referred to as M by N matrix or itong ganitong symbol, M by N matrix. Kapag ang matrix ay may isang row lang tapos maraming column, Ang tawag doon ay row matrix. Parang ganito, horizontal siya. Don't be confused sa row vector kasi yung vector may comma between the elements. Itong matrix wala. A column matrix naman ay isa lang ang column. Parang ganito. At kapag sinabi natin equal matrices, magiging equal lang yung dalawang matrices kung same sila ng size at same yung kanilang corresponding elements. Exactly the same, kumbaga equal talaga, not only the sizes but also the corresponding elements. For example, ano dapat ang maging value ng x, y, at z para mag-equal ang a at b? Sa unang tingin, pwede silang mag-equal kasi itong a, ang size nito ay it has two rows, 1, 2, and 2 columns. So, A is a 2 by 2 matrix. At yung B, 2 rows and 2 columns din, 2 by 2 din. E di ba, pag sinabing equal, kailangan unang-unang condition, same yung size nila. So, pwede silang maging equal matrices. Ang problema natin ngayon, ano dapat yung values ng X, Y, Z, T para mag-equal talaga yung dalawang matrices. Recall that the definition of equal matrices kailangan equal yung corresponding elements. Ibig sabihin yung A sub 1, 1 equal sa B sub 1, 1. Yung A sub 1, 2 equal sa B sub 1, 2. A sub 2, 1, second row, first column, ay equal sa B sub 2, 1. At yung A sub 2, 2 ay equal sa B sub 2, 2. So, i-equal natin yung bawat isang corresponding elements. Yung x plus y equal yan sa 3. Yung 2z plus t equal yan sa 7. x minus y is equal to 1. Tapos, z minus t ay equal sa 5. So, unahin natin itong dalawang equation na to. x plus y equals 3 tsaka yung x minus y equals 1. We can add them, tapos pag in natin, ma eliminate yung y, we will be left with 2x equals 4. Dividing both sides by 2, x is now 2. And then we solve for y. We have here x plus y equals 3, but we will use this value of x, which is 2. Transposing 2, 
On the other side, we have 3 minus 2 or simply y is equal to 1. So, ito yung unang value that's for x and then ito yung pang y. Next, for z and t, we will use these two equations. Again, we can add them para mawala yung t. When we add them, this will be cancelled out. This will be 3z equal sa 12. And then dividing both sides by 3, z is now equal to 4. Gagamitin natin itong value ng z para makuha yung value ng t. Pwede gamitin natin yung z minus t equal to 5. Instead of writing z, substitute natin yung 4. Minus t equals 5. Transposing 4 on the other side, we have negative t equal to 5 minus 4. Negative t is equal to 1. But multiplying the two sides by negative 1, we will arrive with positive t. Equal to negative 1. So, yan yung values ng x, y, z, at t para mag-equal yung dalawang matrices. So, that's it for the basic concepts of matrices. Thank you for watching. If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video.